Morning and thanks for having me. Much happier to be here. Peter, what inspired the seminar? And we know it's about social art and relevance of it, uh, the role it's played in our 20 years of democracy. But what were some of the issues that will be discussed and addressed? Well, I think inspired is really the, the, the correct way to approach it. Um, I think that um, given our context in Durban uh, as a gallery that's fast transforming and trying to change uh, our context and the people that we try to reach as, as artists and as gallery administrators is really what inspired it was the next season of a uh, lot of sponsored exhibitions that will go on to the next 18 to 24 months. And as a collective at the gallery, we had to decide what we were going to do in the season and social art was one of the criteria that the funders uh, had accepted. And so in order to, to explore the notion of social art 20 years after apartheid, we thought it became necessary to have a consultative conference so that we are not determining what social art is, how it functions in the society, what, what is its role in society. And so we're bringing this collective of, of heads and people who are activists, active in art, uh, to, to, to discuss and to, to come up with notions of what social art is today. Obviously, it's not the same. It doesn't have the same paradigm as the art that we made during uh, apartheid or the art that was made during the 90s. We were in 2014 now at a very auspicious event in our democracy, and we're questioning today, how does art engage? How does it reflect? How does it analyze the social context that we, that we live in? And in the context of, of all of those things that you've mentioned, Talk to me about the art experts and that contribution. Oh, sure. Um, we, we have, um, we, we, we've essentially tried to bring a lot of the old KZN artists home. Um, uh, we've, we brought back uh, Nonto and Tobeko, who's a very, very well-known uh, uh, Durban artist and cultural uh, worker and also curator. And um, then we have Tembi Nkosi Goniwe, who is also equally uh, uh, in his own right uh, a, a very powerful commentator on the relationship between art and the, and the social context that we live in. And uh, then we have Bren Brophy, who's the, the ex-curator of the, of, the, of the KZNSA gallery, but still works very closely in this collective that we, uh, that we bring in together for this occasion, and um, who's been very active in the, in the field of uh, HIV and AIDS and the role of art in, in speaking to the issue. Uh, then we have Dung Jahangir, who's an internationally and renowned artist from an, um, a collective in Durban called Dala, who's an architect and an ar artist at the same time, who looks at the notion of how art functions in public spaces and how public spaces are uh, uh, the possibility to catalyze a new way of looking at uh, urban patterns, urban movements, uh, etc. Uh, Russell Shongwani, who's a, a younger presenter, who's uh, really one of, I guess, the rising stars in the cultural world, um, talking about uh, the role of architecture in the city of, D of Durban, which is having very, uh, experiencing a very exciting time in engaging uh, the, 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 the notion of urbanity in the city with the UIA conference coming up in August this year. And then last but not least is uh, Sister Bongi Dlomo from uh, from who's also from KZN, who comes with a long, long history of, an, of socially engaged art from Rockstriff, which is very well known uh, KZN collective, and who now functions at, uh, in Johannesburg as one of the curators and has also worked on the, the Biko Museum in Ginsburg. So that's kind of the lineup, and um, we're bringing these folks together to ask them to reflect on social art. What does it mean today? And to this end, so that it's not just a boring talking head kind of uh, a, a, a day, it's we're asking them to actually show examples of what they thought their best practice of social art is. And hopefully, from these discussions and presentations, at the end of the conference, we'll come together with what we're calling a manifesto that will actually guide us in the next, uh, in the next 24 months in our program at the KZNSA Gallery. Peter, we're going to leave it there, but thank you very much for joining me from our Durban studios. That was the president of the KZNSA Gallery, Peter McKenzie, speaking to us about the day-long seminar in which the role of South African social art and its significance after 20 years of democracy will be discussed. Sounds very interesting.